YouTube. What's good, guys? It's your boy TD, and I'm back again with another video from Fantasy Good Sports, guys. And today's video, guys, is going to be on a guy that you should be stashing. Yes, I'm already getting you week one stashes, guys. Look, football starts on Thursday. So let's go. I said what I said. Let's go. It's time for me to get your stashes. You know how I'm a killer stash guy. My stashes are killers. I've been doing this for about going on my third year. And one thing I can say about my channel that got me where I'm at is my stash. So let's begin, guys. And this video is going to be about one guy. I'm going to start I'm going to break it down into the individuals. That's what I do during the season. So the first guy that you should be stashing, which is the wild receiver, is Kyle Phillips from the Tennessee Titans. I said what I said. Stash Kyle Phillips. Now listen, I know a lot of people haven't agreed with me about Kyle Phillips being... Uh, a very having a very important role on this offense because they, this is Derrick Henry. They run two tight ends with Austin Hooper, and they're not going to be giving it to North Cal Phillips unless they're down by a bunch of points, and that's not going to happen because Derrick Henry is getting out the carries, and he's a bell cow. Listen, things grow. You're not the same as you was last year. If you stay the same in the NFL, you get fired. You know what the NFL stands for? Not for long. You can't do nothing not for long. So if you keep running the same system, it's not going to be very long. You have to be able to, to uh, improv. You got to be able to change it up a little bit. So what the Tennessee, what the Tennessee Titans going to do? They're going to spread it out a little bit to give uh, Derrick Henry some running lanes. They're not going to make him run against eight-man boxes and ten-man boxes. Yes, I said ten-man box. There is a such thing as a ten-man box. So, yes, he, he don't need to run against that all the time. But if you spread it out, maybe Derrick Henry don't, doesn't have as much as wear and tear on him. You don't have to run him as much. You can give some early down first and three, uh, second and three, a third and one. You can give it to Kyle Phillips and Traylon Burks or Westbrook Inc. and Keener, right? You can switch it up a little bit or you can bring in Dontre Hillett. But you're not going to bring in Dontre Hillett too much on like first and second down. But, yes, you can do that a little bit. And maybe take five to six carries off of Derrick Henry per game, which gives him less than 400 carries per game, which puts him around 325 to 340, right? So that's what you do. So Kyle Phillips in the slot, that's a quick bam. Okay, Tannehill, eight-yard uh, eight completion, right? Boom, boom, 15-yard completion. Uh-oh, we in the red zone, and now it's time to give it to Derrick Henry. So Kyle Phillips can have six to seven targets a game, maybe more, guys, because the slot is taking over the NFL, just like running backs did the last 40, 50 years. Running backs was the was the thing that you wanted. Got the biggest bags, got the most money. It doesn't happen no more. It's now quarterbacks is getting bags, and slot receivers are part of the starting role. They used to not be part of the starting role. You was a backup wide receiver if you're number three. If you're the number three guy, you can lead your team in targets. I said what I, what I said. Julia Edelman did it for for years. He led his team in targets, but he was the slot guy. He was the number three wide receiver. So Kyle Phillips will have chances, guys, especially with Ryan Tannehill and Malik Willis coming into this offense. They want to do different things with the quarterback. So they have to grow. So Kyle Phillips should be getting more targets early and often through the whole game. So, yes, guys, I'm not going to hold you up on this video, but make sure you stash Kyle Phillips before the rest of your league does. Because if you don't, you get him and you got to go and race to him. You got to go and race to the waiver wire to get, to get ahead of your league mates. Then it can kill you, right? You like you be like, dang, I got a bid on this guy. I need to stash this money for a running back or something. Yes. So don't, go ahead and stash him now before week one, before Thursday. You want to have him on your team. So, guys, thank you for tuning in to Fantasy Good Sports. Guys, make sure you sign up for my OnlyFans. Guys, I'm not taking out clothes. I'm providing fantasy football content. I'm rating your lineups. I'm helping you win championships, whatever you need, guys. Also, guys, if you want the early waiver wires, you want the early sleepers, you want early everything, you get it off OnlyFans. I will be uploading there first before I upload to my other platforms. So, thank you, guys.